This is Sven at the Community Wellness Meet and Greet, another pop-up podcast. We're right here with Rich Ermlich, and uh, he's got something very unusual. What is what is this thing here? This is called the Rabab from Afghanistan. Rabab. Rabab. Okay. It's a traditional Afghani lute. It's about 700 years old. Um, not this one particularly. I was going to say, <laughs> it looks presence. pretty good for 700. <laughs> yes, but over the years, this is... Uh, Kind of morphed into the Indian sarod and some other instruments that came out of it. And how many strings are on? There's 17 strings. 17 strings. Condensed onto a bridge that's about an inch and a quarter. Wow. Which makes it really interesting to play. Wow. Now, do you know how old this particular one is? No, I actually got it from a musical instrument importer in Florida. Okay. I got it about 10 years ago, and I was just looking for a different kind of sound, and I bought something I had no idea what it was and how to play it, how to tune it wow. or anything. I knew nothing about the so instrument. So what is it you do exactly? You're a musician and a healer. How does that work? How does it not work? Ah. <laughs> what a Zen answer. Yes. I, I started taking drum lessons when I was eight years old, so I've, I've always been into the music thing. And as a, I got in, introduced into energy as a form in martial arts and using energy, and my mother was into Reiki, which I at first oh. did not believe in at all. Okay, of course, because your I, mom's doing it, and can't be, yeah, it can't be I, true. Yeah, I then. thought it was just complete horse stuff. Right. So I had a life crisis, and she, you know, tried over and over and over, like, hey, let me help you with some Reiki. I'm like, get away from me, get away from me. <laughs> so finally she pulled rank after I hadn't slept or eaten in about a week. I was in a really bad state, and I could feel it working, you know, so you can't argue with results. So I dove in, and I started studying it and I started practicing and learning what I could and I also coming from a, an engineerish kind of mind background I started learning about it in the energy field through a western perspective about you know through a scientific perspective vibration so and, yeah. it's just vibration electromagnetic frequencies brain functioning which is extremely affected by music hmm. so it's it's only natural to put the two together everybody's experienced the power of music and the way it, it can affect us and change us and sure. just alter our states so if you can control that process, I mean, we do all the time. If you if you've ever watched jingles on TV or yeah, people tell me about the Disney the Disney ride. It's a small world after all, where music can infect your brain and completely take over. Yeah, it chemically works on a different level when you're experiencing music. Interesting, interesting. Well, let's let's uh, experience some chemistry here. This is really a nice meditative instrument. It's wonderful for yoga yeah, classes. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, you did some of this this morning. Yoga class. Yeah, it's also doesn't like humidity. <laughs> There's little holes through there, is that right? Is yes. that, are those holes? Is that where the sound's coming from, or is it all coming uh, from right in here? It's coming from this. This is the goatskin resonator, so okay. this is basically... Because it seemed to like exude from the whole instrument. Yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty wild. This is just like a drum, basically. Oh, sure, sure. And it's set up like a banjo. You know, the thing is on a, a floating resonator, and we've got all these strings in different levels. And That's why, really okay. You can't see it in the camera, but there's strings at this level, this level, and one on top. The underneath strings basically ring along, and it gives it that really reverberating effect. And there's one up on top that makes a nice little uh, accent, and the main playing strings are on another level. That is awesome. Makes its own reverb. Yeah. So, needless to say, like 
I lose hours of time if I pick this up. I'm wandering through the house. I pick it up. Maybe I should just tune it up so it's kind of ready to go. Three hours later, I'm completely. So where do you work out of? Where, where, how do you? Uh, somebody run into you? I am all over the place. You're all over. You're at rich People. at richermlich.com. Yes, so I have that. a website that's. Well, I haven't had time yet to develop the website, but it has my info. You can find me at richermlich.com. And you're one of the organically social people. Yes, I am. I'm an right. organically social person. I'm walking around just meeting and greeting with people. I awesome. work out of yoga classes and uh, I work yeah. for, I do energy sessions and I do train, I train people with Reiki and Chios and energy healing, which cool. music and healing go together. And yeah. I also facilitate drumming events. Oh, awesome. I take people who say, I'm not a musician, I prove them wrong. And in That's the great. course of two hours, you become a musician. You become, you start to feel that 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 sense of yeah. aliveness and that sense of connection with yourself and the outside world and the others and the cosmos in a very first-hand way. Awesome, and, uh, Rich. Thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having me. All right, glad to be Take here. Care. All right. Awesome. We gave you a lot more time. We're only giving people. Six